Good morning, folks. When you get past the first 10 days of the month and people start emailing me about the lack of a climate update from the quote, experts, it warms my heart to see you guys knowing when to expect them. However, January is always a bit delayed because of the holiday season, government closures, procedural changes, etc. Tomorrow, December's State of the Climate Report comes out for the U.S. and on the 21st we get the SOTC for the global update. Then we'll return to normal scheduled releases for the next months. Let's go straight to Australia and New Zealand. You see the low atop to the left drenching the northern areas. That high pressure is keeping New Zealand clear for now, but the moisture shifting around the south side of the cell may reach the South Island tonight, and this really shows the rain power in northern Australia. Now we come to Europe, and the convergence tails beginning to cross already. A tornado dropped in the UK yesterday. Thanks to everyone's weather shares, especially from France yesterday, I am indeed seeing how good the meteo alarm is, as many of you guessed, and there is no better check than your personal observations. Kind of an odd setup in the US, a low easy to see in the north central states and another harder to see well north of that with a second convergence closer to the east coast. One extends all the way down to the gulf while the north central low is just getting her tail going now. Out west, we are seeing a multi-low system spanning just south of the Aleutian Islands and cresting up onto the coastlines of southern Alaska and western Canada. Solar flaring gave us an impulsive M-flare last night, no real CME or flaring buildup. It was nearly impossible to see as no definitive flash was registered on the satellite images. At this point, a surface event is in progress as I make this video that merits monitoring for the next six hours for evidence of ejecta, as this one's got a better chance to do it than last night's M. The sunspots may or may not pop further. The X-flare candidate is turning out of view now, and there are a lot of young guns on the disc with some growing up to do. Now, my horse does look a little sturdier, still looks unable to handle the big time just yet. Southern incomers have been the best looking, but decayed a bit after the M flare. Solar wind density is curving back up slightly, but does so as the solar wind speed and plasma temperature drops a bit. We're still about 150% of the ambient wind speed, and the disturbance resulting from this was minor only. As for today's eruptive potential, the best chance for a geoeffective CME is a release of one of those thin dark plasma filaments writhing around the disk there. Shots of the wind map and our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.